Now we have some very commonly used ones probably in your home. We have the cook's fork, also known as the kitchen fork. It's a fork with two long pointed tines to lift items to the plate and steady an item that's being cut. Do not use a cook's fork to turn meat that's being dry cooked because the tines will pierce the meat and it could release the juices. Next we have a peeler. It cuts thick layers from vegetables and fruits more effectively than a paring knife. The rolling pin is a cylinder used to roll over pastry dough to flatten or shape it. This rolling pin has two handles attached to a center dowel that turns. And there are a couple other shapes, uh, but this is the most common one we see. Then we have a pizza cutter, also known as a pastry wheel, and it's used to cut pizza and rolled out dough. Here we have the serving spoons. So they come in solid, slotted, and perforated. They're made of stainless steel and hold about three ounces. Solid spoons are serving spoons without holes in them. Use them to spoon out both liquid and solid ingredients. Perforated and slotted spoons have holes that allow the liquid to drain while holding the solid items in the spoon. Then we have a ladle. This comes in various sizes. It is used to measure fluid ounces and milliliters, and it's used to portion out liquids. Then we have tongs. These are scissor-like utensils that food handlers use to pick up and handle all kinds of solid food. To keep food safe, food handlers should never use their hands to pick up food. Now we have some spreading tools. So we'll start with the sandwich spreader. This is a short stubby spatula used to spread sandwich fillings and condiments. Then we have an offset spatula. This is a long narrow tool that has a flat metal blade at the end, often used to frost cakes or even out layers of batter. And you'll notice that little bend in the arm of it that helps to keep your hand out of the cake while you're trying to smooth everything out. Then we have a straight spatula. It's a flexible round tipped tool used for icing cakes, spreading fillings and glazes, leveling dry ingredients when you're measuring them, and turning small pancakes and other small food items. Then we have the cheesecloth. This is a light, fine mesh gauze for straining liquids like stocks or custards, um, for bundling herbs, or for thickening yogurt. Then we have a funnel. This is used to pour liquid from a larger container into a smaller container. A sieve, also known as a sifter. It has a mesh screen to sift flour and other dry baking ingredients and to remove any large impurities, as well as to combine and aerate the food product. Then we have a wire whip, with which we mostly know as a whisk. And there are different sizes and heaviness that are used for different foods to mix, beat, and stir. The rubber spatula is sometimes called a scraper. It's a spatula with a long handle and it's used to fold ingredients together and scrape the sides of the bowls. And our last one we're discussing is a skimmer. So this has a large round flat head with holes. It's used to remove foam from stock or soup and to remove solid ingredients from liquid.